Hello everyone. This is Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers. It is Wednesday, December 15th, and I'm here for your weekly Facebook Live. And I have a very, very cute project to share with you this evening. So be sure to say hi when you hop on. Let me know that you're here. Thank you so much, those of you that share. If you're watching on YouTube or the replay, thank you also. And also, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and thumbs up. All right, I see Lisa and Carla and Cynthia on here and Deborah, and Mickey. Hi, Barb and Jen. So this project is inspired by my friend Janelle. She sent me this cute little gnome project earlier this week and said, um, I think you should do something like this on Wednesday, or you could anyway. She knows I like gnomes. So I accepted her challenge. So hopefully it turns out cute and you guys like it. I did have to improvise because I did not have um, the product that was in her, um, the, you know, the sample thing she sent me. So I had to like kind of recreate it myself. So we have that really cute project to share with you. Um, Last week we did our virtual card class and um, I finally got the the gifts from the end of November in. It took that long. And so for last week, the gifts, I overnighted them. I paid a lot of money <laughs> so that I could get them um, and they were um, shipped out. Um, they're already shipped out anyway. So if you ordered um, last week during the virtual class, um, your stuff is all on its way. So I hope you enjoyed all, and thank you so much for those of you for ordering and shopping with me. If you would like to do any shopping tonight or the next few days, you can use this host code right here, doo -doo -doo, and you can just shop on my online store. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right, we are going to just hop right in to this project. I'll put the host code back up at the end again. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're getting ready for Christmas and all the holidays, I'm trying to. We finally got all of our decorations up. It's like the latest I've ever got them up, but they're up. <laughs> all right, let's get started on this cute little project. Hello, everyone. Thank you for sharing, Cheryl. And, um, Last week I gave away a free stamp set and I shipped that out too. So lots of fun stuff going out. Okay. All right. So tonight we are making a gnome out of punch, like it's called a kind of punch art. So I'm using some different punches, but also one set of dies. So to make this cute little thing, we are using this punch right here called the flowers and leaves. And we're going to be using this for his feet, this little punch right here, actually maybe this one right here. And then we are going to be using the Tulip Builder Punch. Do you have any idea why we would use this for our gnome? Um, we're going to be using the Tulip Builder. We're also going to be using the Penguin Builder. Hopefully you guys got this. Um, it was back in stock. We're... Um, going to be using um, either a half inch circle punch or we're going to be using these dies. Let me grab them. I moved them. So. Okay, so we're using the seasonal seasonal label dies. I, I know I've shown you these before. So they coordinate with like... Um, they're in our holiday book, and there's like the pine cones and the greenery and these labels here. So you could also use, you could run this through and cut off that little circle there for a nose, or, and then we're gonna use this right here, this little pine cone, and this is gonna be the hat and the beard. So um, 
you can use a lot of different trees or whatever for to get your shapes as well but this is what I'm using okay now if you want to make a smaller gnome use this one right here and you could make a smaller gnome I'm gonna make a bigger gnome but this will do the hat and the beard as well so these are seasonal label seasonal labels and they're awesome so get them if you don't have them so those are the punches. The other thing I'm using, which I've never showed this before, this is called the messages dies. And look at this. You open this up and this is one giant die. And what's cool is there's two different stamp sets that coordinate with this. Here's one. It's called many messages. And again, this is one giant stamp set. I haven't used it yet, but you stamp the whole thing and then you can die cut all of these in one swipe through your die cutting machine. But I use just this label right here. You can also just use the individual labels as well. So that's what I use. This one right up here at the top for um, my sentiment. So that's really cool too. And it also coordinates with the um, many happenings stamp set as well. So, all right, that, those are the different things we need. I'm going to be using the sweet little stocking stamp set just for the word, the sentiment, very merry, and I have real red ink and some real red satin ribbon. Okay, so let's start building our gnome. So, like I said, the first thing I did is I punched out two of these in basic black from the flowers and leaves right here and that's going to be the little feet for our gnome all right so i showed you that then i punched out in petal pink a half inch circle punch so i just used my retired half inch circle punch you could use again that little die it's a little bit smaller this is the one from the die set just to give you an idea um the seasonal labels that's what the circle looks like you do have to snip it on the end because it's connected but there's that so that's in petal pink. I have my label for my sentiment and it has a little stitching around it. All right, the next thing we're going to want is on this penguin punch, you're going to want to punch out two of the little like feet. And these are gonna be, ooh, I don't know what I just did. Your gnome's hands. Okay, so we have, we're gonna punch out two of those right there. Then you're going to grab your Tulip Builder Punch in some real red cardstock. And we're going to punch out um, one of these right here. Okay. It's not frozen on my side, so hopefully it comes back. It might be your internet connection. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to grab our dies, those seasonal labels. And I'm going to grab my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I love this thing. This is the mini one. It's only 60 bucks. I love the big one. If you have to get one, get the big one because that will do everything. But if you are like me and this does a lot of the things, then get that. Okay, now for our gnome hat, I'm using some retired celebration papers. You guys remember this? I'm using this because I love the Buffalo check. You could use any designer series paper you have. If you have, I was going to use Christmas paper. Most of our Christmas designer series paper is sold out. So you can't buy that either. So anyway, just pick a pattern that you like and go with that. So I'm going to just cut a little piece here. If I was cutting a lot of these, I would cut a straight strip from my paper trimmer, but... Since I'm only doing this, I'm just going to do that. And then I have a piece of basic white. This is actually the thick, I think. I'm going to just layer this right on top and cut this out at the same time. Did you know that for a lot of our basic shapes um, that you can cut two layers at a time anyway? So here is another tip. If you take plate number three and put this down, you will not have any problems die cutting on here. The actual plate that is the base plate, I did have um, trouble feeding it through sometimes. And then somebody told me just to use the plate number three, the gray number three, and you won't have any problems. And I tried it and it really did work. So um, try that. So then you have your clear plate. I'm going to put these layers down 
Then my other clear plate, and we're just gonna run this through really quick. This is the only die cutting I have to do. So run that through. And now we're done with this. So I can just fold this up and like, look at, this is like literally not much bigger than the size of my hand. And it just fits perfectly on my desk. So we cut this out and now we have the beard and the hat. So there's that. All right, I'm going to put my die away so I don't lose it in my case. If you ever, if you're new to me and you want to see how I store my dies, I do have a video on that. So check that out. But again, you could run this one through to make a little mini gnome as well. So now we're going to assemble our gnome. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to... Um, what I did is I took this like pine cone here, his hat. I don't know if you can tell. On the bottom, it goes like in here and over here. And so what I did is I just kind of cut that off straight. I just kind of rounded it like that. I don't know if you can tell. So I just, I just thought it, that made it more of a hat shape along the bottom. And wait, you don't have to do that, but that's what I did. So then this is going to kind of go on something like this. And so I just glued this on flat. So just add some of your favorite glue and you can just stick this. I'm going to um, overlap it, but not by, not by a whole lot. Just kind of like, kind of like that. Okay, then with your little circle, your nose, you're gonna take, um, I took a blending brush and now this has like a little bit of Calypso coral on it, I think. Um, which is not, it's a little bit darker than my um, petal pink. So I'm just going in like this around the nose just to give it a little bit of dimension. So I didn't even re-ink this, but if I were, I would use Pool Party or like a Blushing Bride. Um, but this is kind of like an orangey color that's on here already. So I don't know if you can tell, but you can, in real life you can tell and see a little bit of shading around the edge of this. Now this is our nose. So for this you're gonna wanna use a mini Stampin' Dimensional or just cut the sides of this sheet of dimensionals or cut a dimensional in half. Um, and then we're gonna put this on the back and then we're gonna pop up the nose right we're gonna put the nose right here. So there's this cute little nose. Isn't it? That's so cute. But we're gonna make this gnome have a body. So that's where the tulip comes in. And I'm gonna take my real red ink and I'm going to just um, ink this up and go along this, just on the sides and the bottom. And this is gonna be our little gnome body. So who out there likes gnomes like I do? I know they're super popular right now. I got into it last year, <laughs> the cute little gnomes. And then we're going to layer him on here like this. So go ahead and add a little bit of glue at the top of the tulip right there. So add your glue to the top of the tulip. Take this and stick it down like that. So now he has a little body there. Okay, next up, you're going to take your little feet. And a lot of my gnomes, their feet kind of go out like that because <laughs> they're just kind of like sitting. So that's all I, that's how I put them on. So I just, again, added glue to the bottom. And I'm going to add one of these to the left. You could have them going straight down if you want. I'm just having them kind of go off to the side and my glue is sticking over so I want to do that. Press that back and then one going here. Okay, so now where do the hands come into play? We're going to do a little bit of stamping. So take that cute little label that I have or you could just cut a band or two and we're going to use this Very Merry. You could use any sentiment you have but this is a cute one and I love the stamp set. So very merry, which is already on a block. If I paid attention, I left it out. We're gonna ink that up in real red ink. And we're going to stamp that right on this label. And then 
it's gonna get popped up and go across, kind of like it's gonna go right across the center of his beard. So grab some dimensionals or use your scraps. Don't throw away the edge of your dimensionals. They work great. And then it's gonna go across here like, kind of like that. But now he needs the hands, right? So um, I did black so that they stood out because the banner's white and his, his little boots or shoes are white. So for here, I'm gonna use a mini glue dot. And so I'm going to put, just stick these little penguin feet that are now gnome hands um, right on your glue dot, like so. So I just love it, they just stick right on. And then you're going to, it doesn't wanna come off, it wants to stay stuck on there. You're going to put it on each end of the little banner thing that he's holding. Just like that. Is this not so cute or what? So um, he's kind of popped up. He has lots of layers. So here's our gnome. Now, what I did on my sample, I'm done with the ink, so let me close this up, is I used this delightful tag topper. I have a five inch strip by two inch, and you just put this in here and punch it. So you guys know I love punches. Like I, I love them and use them all the time. So I have this and then I took a one inch by two inch piece of basic white and I ripped it like a, like snow. And so you do that again. And then you can um, add this to the bottom. And but this one I'm going to do something different, but I'm going to show you how I did this cute little tag. This one I'm going to give you another idea of how you can add this gnome. So just add this one inch by two inch piece, tear it, add a little piece of snow across the bottom. Like here in Michigan, we don't have any snow. It's like 50, 60 degrees here. I'm not really complaining except for it's making like so you can't breathe because it's supposed to be like really cold here right now. So a lot of people are sick and it's frustrating because you can't just be sick now anymore because of COVID. Um, so there is that. And then your little gnome can get popped up on here. And then you would take your ribbon and thread it through the top. Now this stamp set also has a to and from, a to and from, so you would stamp the back and Voila, it looks like this. Cute, cute little tag. Now I did pop him up on dimensionals. And so behind his hat, you need to pop it up twice, like two dimensionals stacked on top. But another way you can use this cute little thing is, let me show you. you grab a Hershey bar, full size Hershey candy bar. And we're going to, um, let me see, I need to find some paper. Um, we're going to just take this piece of, and we're going to cut this to six by six. So grab your paper trimmer. Hopefully this is six inches wide. I didn't practice this ahead of time. Let's hope this works and looks good. Six inches by six inches. All right. Now, since it's six by six, it doesn't matter. You're going to go over a half an inch, which I'm going to go to the right on my paper trimmer and I am going to score half inch. So you guys have probably seen me make these a hundred times. I, I do these every year for Christmas for um, all the different holidays. This is a great easy gift. So you're gonna fold that half inch strip over, use some good some good strong glue. So I'm using the um, Stamp and Seal Plus. You can use the tear and tape. You can use um, the Tombow Liquid. I like this stuff. So I went all the way down. You see how shiny that is? All the way down. Then you're going to go over and just line this up. Once it's stuck, it's stuck though, okay? So don't mess up. So press it good. Then take your bone folder and give it a crease. 
watch this, put this little Hershey bar in here. And now you have a cute package for your candy bar. So we could put the gnome on there. His hat kind of blends in. So you could put the tag right on here as well, which is what I think I'm going to do. Um, because I use the same pattern on his hat as I did the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I have a brand new package of dimensionals. It's like always exciting when you get a brand new package of a dimensionals. You get 300 dimensionals in here. And I usually go through a pack a week. Um, it's just what I usually do. I create a lot of stuff here in this studio. So I'm gonna put two on the back of the hat. So take one, off, one of the backs off and stack the other one up directly. So it's like a double decker dimensional there. And then down here and in the middle you can just add one so that's gonna like even it out on your little tag okay so then we're gonna add this cute little guy here we're going to take some ribbon and you know what I might use the black ribbon so I love this ribbon this black um, sparkly glittered ribbon. I'm gonna use that on this one. So I'm going to just cut about four or five inches off. And what I do next is I pinch the ends and then from the back, you thread it through from the back to the front. And then you have this little circle here and just pull your ends through and carefully without ripping wiggle it up and then you can like trim trim these down if you need to but there's that and then we're going to just glue this on our candy bar So thank you so much for sharing, Lisa. Here is a cute little, um, if you just needed something little, you could give someone this. Or you can dangle this from a cute little package. You could add this gnome to anything. You could put it on a bag, on a box that you make. You could put it on a scrapbook page. You could put it on a card front. You could put it in one of those shadow boxes. There's so many things you could do with this cute little gnome. But I hope that you like it and um, it gave you some inspiration. So, again, you can use any type of designer series paper that you want. But this tag was five inches to start. So this is a pretty big gnome. And then, again, if you um, cut out the smaller little pine cone, you could make one probably, I'm guessing, about this big. And you just might have to use a different size, like, for his body or something. So... Oh, Janelle, thank you. She said you knocked the challenge out of the park. So thank you for um, showing me that, Janelle. I, I can't remember the demonstrator that she found the original idea. They used, I think, the whimsy trees, um, and it was adorable. It was like in pinks and, not pinks, purples and blue, but it was, it was awesome. But I actually don't have those guys, like, I know that's probably crazy, but I don't really own everything, almost everything. And so I thought, okay, what do I have that I can create a little gnome myself? So this is what I came up with. If you guys want to do any shopping, if you get Christmas money, if you want to buy yourself a Christmas present, um, here is a host code that I have open um, at least through the end of this week before I change that out. And anytime you order over $50 with me, I always send you a thank you gift, some sort of embellishment, jewels, ribbon, um, something um, like that. So um, just know you might not get it until after Christmas, though, is all, or into the beginning of January. So if you guys have any questions about ordering, joining my team, um, anything like that, let me know. I would love to help you. And I don't think, I'm not really planning on being on for the rest of the year. I might surprise you and hop on and do a Facebook Live. But I'm not planning on it um, anyway 
um, as of now. My kids are off of school from Friday is their last day until January 3rd. And so um, I plan to spend a lot of time with them. Now, I still have my card club in person. Card club will be going out early this month. So um, I still have some stuff going on, like in person and stuff. But I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. I'm sure you might see me before. but um, And I'll be posting and stuff like that. But uh, thank you so much for, um, yeah, for being with me tonight. And I hope that you all have a great rest of your day and week. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Merry Christmas.